Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and with Windows 10 reaching end of support and of course now getting extended support for a year. Plus you have the options of having more support by using a service called Zero Patch. Some of you are having the long-term support version of Windows 10. And so that means that the options out there to get Windows 10 to have security updates until up to 2030 and even more, of course, exists, which means that, you know, you don't have to just do one year. You can do more than that. But there is a problem, and the problem relies on around Windows, all the apps that you use, the software you download, because it's not just enough for Windows to have its security updates. It's extremely important that the apps you use, like the web browser, get their security updates. So what's the state of that? What do we know? First of all, if you're a user of Microsoft Office, um, Microsoft has announced that for Windows 10, these are the dates to remember. August 2026, uh, the current channel that includes all the versions for uh, individuals and families, um, are going to have their updates go up to August 2026. Now, that means that you will stop having, you know, features and new, new versions of the Office apps. But you will still get the security updates. So October 13, 2026, Monthly Enterprise Channel gets um, to have the end of the new features. January 12, 2027, uh, for semi-annual Enterprise Channel, no new features. But what is really the important date, October 10th, 2028, end of security updates for Microsoft 365 apps for Windows 10. Which means if you use Office, um, for Windows 10, the latest versions um, that are available. If you're on a Microsoft 365 account like I am, your Windows 10 operating system will continue having security updates for Office until October 10th, 2028. Gives you three years of updates. But what is the other thing in there? Well, you got to think about the different apps you use. If you use Photoshop, AutoCAD, if you use whatever app that you might be using that does things. Most importantly, Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, all of that. What's the deal with that? For now, there's no official end date. None of these browsers and most browsers that people use will continue having their security updates, which is important. And that will be a, you know, month by month, year by year thing. Uh, as time goes by, as the um, number of users of Windows 10 shrink, this is where these companies are going to take decisions. So for now on, we know that you know Chrome is going to continue having security updates after October. Uh, Edge and all the Chromium browsers probably, and a lot of software people use, will continue having these updates. But we'll have announcements. From time to time, we'll know, oh, okay, this app has stopped updating security for Windows 10. And, of course, this goes with simply the numbers game. As long as there's enough users that these companies think is important to continue, they will continue. Um, just like in Windows 7, there's still a version of my, my Firefox that's still supported. Um, so that gives you that possibility that you have to remember because even if Windows gets updated, if the apps you use, the browsers you use, don't continue getting updated, then it becomes dangerous and moving on to, a, um, to Windows 11 or anything else is at that time a better idea. So we'll see as time goes by with Windows 10. Even if you choose to keep Windows 10 and have the security updates by, um, you know, like zero patch and use it for several years. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.